So we're in the, the bridge. This is bridge one of like three. I don't know if you can see the other ones up there. Probably not. Um, and this is the lighting it's currently got in here. This like horribly crusty, just sort of LED tape. It used to have some sticky backing on the back, but it's just uh, zip tied on here. And it's got a power supply here. Is that going to focus? Yeah. So we've got an outdoor rated power supply, 234 mains coming in. And so we can put a 5 volt power supply in here. And then it's all waterproof. I've been reassured by Ashok here, who has the new LEDs with this silicon tubing that we're going to be using. Um, so these are, are they S SK6812s? I think so, yeah. Or something similar. So RGB addressable ones. And so we'll be running them along here, but we might. I don't know if we're going to end up having like one at the top and one at the bottom, but there are three bridges to do it on, so exciting. So we've got five metres of this LED strip that we can stretch along here, so it's not going to go the whole length. So we might either need to tack some extra on or just move this into the, the middle of the bridge. So we're putting these up now. Um, we've got a bit of a a janky setup with a <laughs> Arduino Uno powering these things. Don't ask why we're doing that. Um, just to see, this is at 30% brightness. We're just going to have a look from the outside and see what this setup looks like. They're just dangling down here. We hope to have them sort of attached up here. But I think they look quite nice. Just don't know what they're going to look like from the outside, whether it will shine down through this glass or shine outwards. Who knows? Let's go find out. So there it is in 30% brightness. It doesn't look too bright. God, my camera doesn't want to focus on it. Hang on, there we go. 30% brightness. It doesn't look too bright, but we'll try it on 100% or 80% maybe brightness and see how that looks. Um, but to the camera, it doesn't look great. In fact, if I dim this image a little bit, oh no, that doesn't work at all. Trust me, it looks okay. It doesn't look as dim as that. I think it's because there's some bright lights down here. So if I, uh, ah, whatever. You know what I mean. LEDs never show up properly. Forgive the camera here. I don't know what went on. It didn't record properly anyhow. What I'm trying to explain in this clip is that we're going to put the LEDs on the other side and diffuse through the glass. So sadly, that is where the story ends for now. We had a bit of a failure of our RGB tape. Now, it worked perfectly fine, and then we left it outside overnight on the bridge. And when we came to power it up the next day, one of the LEDs was stuck on and the rest were not working. In fact, the first LED had a very faint, dim red uh, on showing. Um, and there was a short, so it was showing 70 ohms across VCC and ground. That was the resistance between those two rails. So something, I assume an LED had failed short circuit and we hadn't really been very careful about how we powered them so it's possible a voltage spike had done that but I usually thought well I thought usually that LEDs would fail open circuit is that right yeah so they wouldn't fail short circuit so anyway I cut a bit off um, I cut the first LED off the tape tried again didn't work so then I decided just to cut a big section off the tape and powered it independently through a power supply and stuck the microcontroller on there and it worked. Now I haven't gone through the whole tape to find the Duff one. I've visually inspected all of them and I couldn't see anything that looked like one of them had blown or anything. So I don't really know what's going on there. So it could just be a case of poor LEDs. Not sure, but it means it's on hold for a little bit. It is the Chinese New Year, their spring festival. So it means it's very difficult to order anything new. So we're going to get some from the UK, but we'll just have to wait for a bit. But the software is working all right. Um, I've made some modifications when we were testing it earlier on. So this is essentially the next day um, from the footage you just watched. When we tested that, it was at about 30% brightness. So I've uh, added some controls to change the brightness from zero so you can turn them off 25 50 75 and 100 percent i'm going to eventually implement a slider so you can make that number a bit more variable but really we we just wanted to test it so it was on 30 percent because i wasn't sure about how much current it was going to draw 
Now we know that on full brightness, it can draw about 18 amps for one five meter strip. That's a strip with 150 LEDs, I think. So what we, I've calculated that based on the one you can see in the picture here. Um, and so just multiplied that up. Uh, so <laughs> don't know what to do just yet. It's, I mean, the software works fine. Uh, we just need to get a good supplier of LEDs and make sure that we can supply enough current. Now we're gonna use some uh, desktop power supplies. So computer PSUs, I think, because they give a, a nice big old five volt supply at like 22 amps. So that should be more than enough. Be fun. Well, I'll come back to you <laughs> when I know more, when we've done some more. But for now, it's looking promising, if not with a few little setbacks.